Hey everyone, it's Melissa. If you're new here, I am a mom of three kiddos. I have a six-year-old who's in first grade. I have a two-year-old who's in tot school and I have a seven-month-old baby. My husband is uh, works in the fire department and he is a works in quality. He's kind of does lots of things. So, and he's also in school full-time. I am working on my master's in accounting as the dog roams behind me. I want to show you guys this the Berenstein Bears Big Book of Science and Nature. I got this at half price from Timber Doodle in exchange for my honest review. I have done that review already for them. I wrote a blog post for them. I will link that below. You can guys take a look at that. But I wanted to show you guys this again because we use it still to this day. Um, we got it last March, I want to say. I adore this book. Um, it's the Berenstein Bears Big Book of Science and Nature featuring actual facts from mm. Professor Actual Factual. Mm. That was a mouthful I had trouble saying for some reason. And I don't know what's up with the dog. He is just roaming back and forth, moaning at the door. And I don't know why. I'm sorry if he's being really loud. This is the first half of this is going to be the Berenstein Bears Almanac. And the second half is going to be about science. In a year in bear country and it starts out at January 1st and it goes through every single season and month. Actual facts about snow. So we've been through all these pages once already. Spring. We have currently, I go and I read, so this may seem silly, but when I get to a section about like summer, I read this few pages about summer every first of the like once a month in august july august and september i read these pages for them once a month and it worked out really well so then on fourth of july like the week of fourth of july i would read this the prior week and the week of but i would just reread the same thing over and over so we read about fall once a month so once a month, I would come in here and read about fall. And then in October, every week, I would read about October, about Halloween. And so far in November, every week, I've read about Thanksgiving. And it's just this one page. It's nothing fancy. And then I've been reading about the moon. So I will read about the moon every month. And I will read about fall again. And then I will read about thanks Christmas. And then here is the nature guide. We are almost through this. It has the animals, the plants, the earth itself with actual facts about frogs, possums, birds, fish, trees, rocks, ladybugs, and earthquakes, and of course, lots and lots more. It's wrote in a very cute little sing-songy way. And it always has Papa Bear doing silly things and that is adorable to my children. They love this, so I just read a section or a page. So right now we are, we've gone through most of this and we are in the science fair section. So there's animals, reproduction of animals. So how animals reproduce, they grow and split. Nature and all around. It's just such a beautifully done book and my kiddos really like it and they are actually learning stuff. So I have continued to use it and I will continue to use it with my two youngers and with Callie for the next probably year. So we've been gone ahead and read this. So right now we are in the Berenstein Bears Science Fair section and they are learning about machines, matter, energy, experiments and projects. So there's the science fair, and of course, you've got Papa Bear doing silly things like, see, don't do what Papa Bear did. And they are learning about machines right now. So we are doing simple machines is the page that we are reading over and over right now. Then they'll learn about levers. And I read it over and over again for repetition. So we only, we don't read it every day. We are reading it about once a week. So I get this book out once a week or twice a week and I will read about the almanac originally and then I will go in the back and read about science. And that is what we do with this book. And I will just start over in the beginning of the year on the front page of the almanac. And when we're done with the science section, I will just start over at the beginning of the science section. 
and that is working really well for us. It's a fun way to get some read aloud in and get some calendar, seasons, holidays, science involved where it's not too pushy, not too shovey, and then both her and Riker are really enjoying it and I am loving this book. So I will go ahead and link this book below for you. The link below doesn't give me any type of monetary value or anything like that, but it does help me where it tracks, Timberdoodle tracks um, anybody who uses the link. So it does help me out. It helps them let you know, let you guys, let them know that you guys are using my links and seeing these things and that I am actually being helpful to you guys. Um, if you have any questions about this or anything else that Timberdoodle has, Please let me know and I would be happy to share it with you. Um, so far we have the Tiny Talk curriculum, the preschool curriculum, we have the kindergarten curriculum and the first grade curriculum. So the only one in there that I'm missing is the 4K curriculum and this book is from there. I will be using Timber Doodle again next year. I really do love them. As you can see, I kind of use Timber Doodle and the Good and the Beautiful and that's just kind of what's working for us right now. I did stray from Timberdoodle when it came to history and we use History Quest mostly because History Quest provides me with a digital audio file versus a CD. Um, I can't use a CD literally anywhere but my computer. So I um, used History Quest and I liked History Quest and it's doing wonderfully for us so far. Um, I don't know if that'll change as she gets a little older or not, but right now that's what's working. Thank you so much for staying till the end. If you have any questions or any suggestions for me, please leave them below. If you would like to see what we do on a daily basis, my Instagram is right here. Mostly you just get to see my really messy house and my kids multiple times a day. If you're interested in that, it's up to you. Um, I do try to answer all my comments and all my messages on Instagram and on here. So if you have a question or want to know something, please let me know. If you like this video, please go ahead and like, push the little like button. And if you would let, be so inclined, you can push the subscribe button as that really helps me out. And it costs you guys nothing. And I really appreciate all your guys' support. And I really appreciate the community. That is a mouthful, but it really is honestly the truth. I do really appreciate you guys. And I really do appreciate the community and the support that you guys are providing. And I'm hoping that I'm contributing to that as well. I will see you guys next time. Bye.